Let's make some tea and have a chit chat. So about a year and a half ago, I did a brand deal with this company, Enlightened Tea, and they wanted to work with me again, which is fucking awesome. I love when companies want to continue partnering with, uh, you know, myself as a creator. Uh, it, it's awesome. It's really cool. Also, have you ever had a dream about something that happens but it hasn't happened yet and then it happens? This situation, me talking to you about this, standing here looking at myself in the mirror and uh, making tea, that was in a dream that I had and that's not me just saying that. That's like some real life shit. Anyway, something else that's real life shit is uh, your president. Not mine, your president, if you're in America. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to toss this beautiful box of tea. But for real, our uh, our president, he's, you know, all oh, that. let him know. Hi, I'm so excited to work with you again. I'm sure we will have a great campaign. Warm regards, Eric. Well, Eric, I appreciate that you wrote me a little note on a, what are these called? A flashcard? That's what we used to call them, flashcards. I'm sure, I'm sure they have a different, better, more scientific name, but we called them flashcards back in the day. Uh, thank you for the note. I appreciate it, and I hope people like the video. So the last video I made with Enlightened Tea was me talking about my PTSD uh, from when I lived in the Middle East. I was assaulted. Um, you can watch that video, click the eye in the sky or the link in the description. You can go watch that video. Also, if you get a box like this, you get a golden ticket. Like, the whole thing is golden. It's fantastic. It's a, It was about PTSD and my struggles with it, and... This is not gonna open. I'm about to have some PTSD with this bag right now. That was very insensitive. Sorry. Why are you so difficult? You're supposed to be relaxing, T. Yeah, our president, he is fucking terrifying. Well, not the president. Yeah, the pre he's not terrifying. He's just irritating, but that's not good. It's not good to feel nervous and anxious about my safety, my friend's safety, minority safety, human rights, our environment. That stresses me out, and not to say that I'm gonna have PTSD from our president because I feel like compared to some of the other things that I face and that people I know have faced, that's kind of the least of our worries, if you know what I mean. But I will say that getting harassed and being targeted as you know an LGBT member and as a very uh, alternative looking person, and I know, I know, all the adults and grandparents out there are saying, well, it's a choice for you to dress like that, and you could just dress normal and get a normal job, and people wouldn't look at you the way they look at you. First of all, stop it, please, because I've heard it for 23 years of my life, and I don't think it's gonna do anything now. Uh, but, thank you, appreciate the thought. The whole PTSD thing, the reason I wanted to talk about the PTSD is because I... Ooh! Because as someone who, you know, was targeted, even if it was just a random uh, thing that happened, wow, I probably shouldn't have poured that there, but I did. Um, on the stove, okay, that's where that goes, I guess. So as someone that was targeted in a crowd, uh, whether they chose me or were just trying to find whoever, that is where my PTSD was like sparked or ignited or whatever wordplay you want to use. And I feel like everyone in the comments is going to be thinking, or anybody that doesn't watch my videos regularly and just wanted to see what the fuck this dumbass lesbian had to say, wow, you have it so bad, you're in America, like, you're in a great place, like, you're not in the Middle East, or you're not in, you know, other countries where other people are facing bigger problems. Yes, you're completely right, and I'm not trying to downplay any of that, but... All of this is relative. PTSD is a very relative thing, it's a very personal thing, and I'm not trying to complain, I'm just trying to help some of you guys out there that might have the same struggles and might be worrying about the same things. Yeah, I'm worried about being targeted as an LGBT member in this country that doesn't look normal. With the way this, uh, you know, first, what, 100 days has been going, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a very bright future for our nation uh, as of now. And that's, uh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. And I don't want this to just be like a brand deal like, 
So I drink this awesome tea called Enlightened Tea and it soothes my soul and it makes me feel so calm and so relaxed. Well, that is true. That's not why I'm making this video. I'm not making this video to be a brand deal. I'm making this video with an amazing brand that supports me and supports my story and wants to support you guys as well. So this, this may be a sponsored video, but it's not just a video about a sponsor. Does that make sense? If I drink tea and skateboard at the same time, is that still relaxing? I think it is. Hey neighbor. So yeah, I mean, I am very concerned for our nation. I'm very concerned for the LGBT community, especially because we are already uh, targeted, you know, because we don't fit in with society. It's not, it's not just me that's nervous about this stuff. Um, I'm sure a lot of veterans that suffer from PTSD are worried about where they're going to get their insurance from because if Obamacare is repealed and replaced, they will be without insurance, without affordable insurance for one to two years. And that's already horrible that they, most of them are homeless because of their PTSD uh, and what that does to veterans when they come back stateside uh, and they can't readjust to society because of the things that they have faced and dealt with and our country doesn't seem to understand that and support them very well. Which is messed up because they literally fight for our right to not see the things that they've seen. That's PTSD for you, isn't it? This tea is still really hot, I don't want to drink it yet. I know some of you guys watching this probably also suffer from PTSD from various forms of things. I recently spoke to somebody who was held up at gunpoint at his work and he it didn't really hit him until like two months later and then he had a breakdown and found out that he was suffering from PTSD from having a gun in his face. PTSD comes in many, many forms. Uh, you could be assaulted like I was, you could be held up, you could be... Wow, my cat's just stretching out. Did you drink all this tea? Is that why you're so relaxed right now? Living with PTSD is hard enough. Having to talk about it is even harder. And this video, I knew that I had to talk about it because I know there's probably a lot of you out there that have some form of PTSD or you just deal with anxiety or you're just worried. You're just worried about our nation. You're worried about your safety. You're worried about other people's safety. Uh, I'm worried about immigrants in this country. I'm worried about uh, black people in this country. I'm worried about everybody in this country. And I mean, I don't know what's next for us. You know, I think about all of the possibilities of what could happen. North Korea testing all of their nuclear bombs right now, their missiles. Um, we're starting to test nuclear bombs again because of Trump. He might go on trial for treason. There's just a whole lot going on and it's really hard to watch and keep track of, but because I've gone through some of the crazy things I have gone through, I want to be informed and I want to know what's going on so that I can hopefully, you know, do something about it if it does happen. And I can keep you guys up to date on the important things that are going on that I feel you should know about. A church bus crashed, I think two days ago, killed 12 people. There's like a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. Can you imagine like having PTSD after that, being afraid to like go to church? That's wow, wow. But yeah, let me know if you guys know anybody that suffers from PTSD or if you're worried about, you know, what's going on and what your thoughts are and how you think we can do something about it. Thank you, Eric at Enlightened Tea, for sending me more tea and for being so awesome and wanting to work with me again. Guys, I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to go check this stuff out. It's awesome stuff. It's really, really, like, natural. It's very natural tea. And it's not full of, like, all that stupid shit that you can get at, like... Target or where at Starbucks even as I drink out of a Starbucks cup. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting me and uh, I'll see you guys on Monday with an adventure video. Let me know what you would like me to talk about next Friday for next Friday's LGBT video and I will see you guys later. Stay strong, keep enduring. Drink some tea! Oh wow, it's hot. Burn my lips. Burn my lips. Oh, let's dump Trump. Yeah, dump Trump. Dump him. Dump his ass. Dump Trump. Woo!